Welcome to day four and the last day of the Marriott USMS Summer Nationals. I'm Rob Butcher and joining me, of course, is Misty Hyman. And Misty, you know, this is the final day, but are you still having fun? Of course, this is, this is the highlight of my year. You actually swam a relay today and you're getting ready to swim again, aren't you? That's right. And it's so much fun. It doesn't matter how old you are, how long you've been away from swimming. For me, it's still exciting to get up on the blocks and just race. Misty, some people have actually asked when you've been on deck, you know, what are you doing now post-2000? What has what your life been like? That's right. Well, I am back involved in swimming, which has been uh, so much fun. I coach. I've been coaching my high school team back in Phoenix, the high school that I swam for. And I've been teaching private lessons in my hometown of Phoenix. And I also travel around the world giving clinics and, and speeches. Did you have to get a permission slip in order to be away for two weeks to come here to Omaha? Luckily, like a lot of our masters, I'm my own boss, so that helps. <laughs> we have close to 1,300 master swimmers that are here that are swimming in this meet, of course, and I know you walked around today and asked master swimmers, what do they do professionally and how are they able to get away? So why don't we go now and check out some of those highlights? Fortunately for me, it's my job to be here. But a lot of our master swimmers are juggling family life, their day job, and they still find time to train and to come to nationals. Let's find out their stories. Actually, I'm an engineer myself. And what excuse did you give your boss to be here this weekend? Uh, I told him that I had a little eye trouble, couldn't see coming into work. Uh, I'm a dentist. Sales management. I'm a geologist. And what excuse did you give your boss? I just didn't show up. Self-employed businessman. I am an elementary school teacher. I teach ELL students. Uh, some coach. I'm a housewife. Um, I work for a sports nutrition company. Uh, I own a company called Flow Cycling. We manufacture carbon fiber race wheels for bicycles. I am teaching swimming at the YMCA. A high school math teacher and a high school swim coach. I'm a police officer. Uh, I'm actually an airline pilot. I fly for Express Jet Airlines. We're a United Express carrier. And what excuse did you give your boss so you could be here this weekend? Did my schedule to have these this particular weekend off. So. No, uh, no excuse needed. I'm here with Cheryl Coupan on deck, jack of all trades. You do all the strokes, and you're an avid master swimmer. You've traveled all over for master's meets. Tell me about why you do that. Most of my friends are through swimming, so it's my extended family, I call it. Being able to swim in a pool like this is phenomenal. Like, but anyone who's getting into the sport, I think they'll see immediately once they go to the first meet how addictive it is and how you want to get better, and the only way to do that is to get in the pool and, and swim more. So I am about uh, almost four and a half months pregnant, so we're due uh, December 5th. When I found out the or that it was going to be held in the trials pool, I was really excited to swim here, and then I found out I was pregnant, and I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm still going to do it, but I thought that uh, maybe it would keep me motivated in those early months of morning sickness to at least stay active, so I decided to go for it. <laughs> Well, I, I think the most important thing is to stay at it. You know, we, we joke now that when you're getting up to my age, it's he who slows slowest wins. The secret is always stroke techniques. Nutrition, of course, uh, making sure you're eating correctly so your body has the ability to go fast. And yes, you come to the meets, and yes, you want to do your best, but it's all about the fun, and, and to me, that's, that's the best part of it. I'm here on deck with David Guthrie. Just swam a great 50 breaststroke. He's been having a fantastic meet, and happy birthday, David. Thank you turned you. 52 yesterday. It's an amazing way to celebrate. <laughs> Couldn't, couldn't be better. I mean, it's a fantastic setup. You know, never been to something that's this good. And it's, uh, and it's just great. It's a huge blessing to be swimming on right now. Carl, thanks for volunteering for Masters to announce for us. Oh, you're quite welcome. This has been such a pleasure for me. I'm certainly not a professional. Uh, I have a 17-year-old daughter. She swims in high school, and so I have the chance, to, uh, the opportunity to announce for her swim meets. There's a coach for one of the teams that my daughter swims against, and so she heard me announce and said, wow, you know, you do a great job for us at the, uh, at the National Masters Summer Meet. And I said, sign me up. This, this facility, the technology, Everything that's available to us to uh, to announce and and, uh, and 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 the level of swimming that we're seeing is truly remarkable. I know this is something I'll never forget. I'm here with 31-year-old Kevin Doak. Just had a great 100 backstroke. You're the American Masters record holder in that event. Uh, how does it feel? That feels great. It's it's been a great meet so far. It's it's just a great environment. A lot of support here. Um, so you know, in contrast to some of the USA meets, you know, it's very competitive here. Just remember that you got the 50s of all the events. That's what hooks everybody back in. 
you know, the 50 fly, 50 back, 50 breast, you know, those events that we've all wanted to do in all those USA meets. So those, those will hook you back in, it's a great environment. Wouldn't trade it for anything. The most important impact that I want to make sure that I make is that it brings somebody else to an event like this that is thinking, oh, I'm different. I don't have a leg, or I don't have an arm, or I'm a little person. I want to be able to make an impact strong enough that those people look at me and go, well, wait a minute, she's doing it. And so that they can be brave enough, I want to say brave enough, to come. And I'm having a great time. <laughs> it's just awesome here. Misty, those are such cool stories, and they're so encouraging. And you know, I remember in '96 you swam in the trials, in 2000 you swam in the trials, but back when they were in Indianapolis. That's right, and you were there too, Rob. We were actually there together. But how far has swimming actually come though since 2000? Well, it's amazing to watch these trials, and it's so encouraging to see the public interest in swimming just raise, not just at the elite level, but at all levels, including master, like master swimming. swimming. Right, right. Exactly. So we're seeing that here. You know, there's more adults that are coming to swimming. We've got one of the biggest masters meets we've ever. Had held here before. So what do you think? You want to do this again in 2016? I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> okay, we're marking you down for that. Misty right. Hyman will right. be there on in, record. <laughs> at 2016. So Misty, you know, as we're wrapping up from here, this took nearly two years for us to plan. Our meet director folks, our Nebraska LMSC people, we couldn't have done it without any of them. So thank you on behalf of all of us for all the work that you've put into it. That's it for Misty Hyman. I'm Rob Butcher here from Omaha, and we will see you in spring in Indianapolis for the 2013 Spring Nationals.